welcome to Spill the Craft. My name is Pamela and in today's video we are doing three DIYs from Dollar Tree for St. Patrick's Day. If you guys love this kind of content, please consider subscribing to my channel as well as giving this video a big thumbs up. That would be greatly appreciated and let's go ahead and get started. For this first DIY, we're going to call it Fill and Lucky. And we're going to take one of these tag signs that you can find over at Dollar Tree. And they had them out during Valentine's Day. And then we're going to go ahead and flip it over. We're going to use the side that doesn't have anything on it. And then we're going to take some white paint as well as some green paint. And we're just going to mix those two until we get the desired color that we're looking for. If you guys already have a green colored paint that you really, really like, you can go ahead and use that instead. But I didn't have a color that I wanted, so I got, went ahead and mixed these colors together. Next, I went in and I removed that twine from the top of the sign. And then I'm going to give the sign about uh, two to three coats of paint. And then in between each layer of paint, I'm gonna go ahead and use my handy dandy blow dryer and I'm going to blow dry it dry. This will literally dry your paint within 30 seconds. Go ahead and try this trick. Let me know what you guys think. Then I went ahead and I put the sign over to the side and I'm gonna take these plastic 3D dimensional hearts that they had during Valentine's Day at Dollar Tree and I'm gonna take them apart. And then with the same color paint mixture that we used, we're gonna go ahead and paint the heart. Oh, and by the way, I didn't like those little tags that were on there, so I just quickly removed them by just kind of bending them down and they just popped right off. Now you're gonna go ahead and grab your sign again and these poster letters that you can find at Dollar Tree in their school supply area. And then what, you're, what I did is I went ahead and grabbed the letters that I wanted. I'm gonna spell out the word lucky. And I just used the edge of that poster board to try and make sure that everything stays nice and straight. All right, now that the letters are all nice and laid out the way we want them, you're gonna go ahead and take some paint. I'm using the Waverly chalk paint in white and we're gonna give this, this sign, including the letters, a pretty thick layer of paint. While the paint is still nice and wet, go ahead and remove the letters from the board I found this a lot easier to do while the paint was wet rather than the paint completely dry and then trying to remove the sticker. I do apologize about the camera being blurry on certain parts. I don't know why it was having such a hard time focusing, but once you removed all of the stickers from the sign, I went ahead and I grabbed my hearts that we painted earlier and we're going to make a 3D four leaf clover using those hearts. Once you get the placement of the hearts where you want them, you're gonna go in with some hot glue and you're just gonna go and glue them down. Then I went in with this Waverly chalk paint and ink and I kinda tried to give my sign a more distressed look. And all I did is take a sponge brush, dabbed it into the ink paint, and I dried brushed it on. Next, I'm gonna take this rub-on transfer letters. I absolutely love these guys. If you find them, grab them. They're amazing, especially if you don't have a Cricut, like I, I don't have a Cricut, and this stuff is amazing. However, I do suggest once you put the letters on, I do suggest going over with some Mod Podge so that way the, the letters themselves won't peel off in the future. I also wish that Dollar Tree carried larger transfer letters. That would be awesome. So hopefully one day in the future, Dollar Tree, if you're listening, come out with some larger lettered transfer stickers, please. <laughs> 
All right, so next what I did is I took some of this decorative rope, which you can again find at Dollar Tree in their, I believe it's in their garden section or in their arts and crafts section. And I just put it through the hole that's already there that was in on the tag sign what i did is i wrapped one end around the other and i just used some hot glue to secure it lastly what you're going to do is going to take some more of that decorative rope and you're going to use that as the tail for your clover And guys, there you have it, your 3D Feeling Lucky tag sign. What do you guys think? I think this was my favorite. Comment down below and let me know what you guys think. All right, you guys, on to DIY number two. Now this one is gonna be super simple and it would be perfect in a tier tray. Now, what I did is I took the shadow box that has that metal tag on it and I just removed the metal tag then I took the box itself and I used some white paint and I'm using the Waverly chalk paint in white and I gave this box about two to three layers of paint. And don't forget to do the sides as well. Next, I went ahead and set that box over to the side and I took that metal piece that we took off earlier and with the same green paint that we used for our first DIY, I'm going to paint that metal piece. Now that everything is all nice and dry, we're going to go ahead and put those two pieces back together. Then I'm gonna take that ink from Waverly and my sponge brush and I'm gonna go ahead and distress the edges of the shadow box. Now, here comes the fun part. We're gonna take our transfer letters, this time the one in gold, and we're gonna go ahead and spell out the word lucky. Now I'm gonna take this greenery and we're gonna just cut off some of the leaves. This greenery I got from Christmas at Walmart for about, I believe it was 99 cents and it was their uh, frosted, um, oh, what was it called? It was the frosted boxwood um, during Christmas. And I just took four of those leaves and we're gonna create a four leaf clover using those leaves. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take some twine and we're gonna use the twine as the stem of our clover. And then I decided to go ahead and make another one and repeating the same process that we did for the first clover. We're gonna go ahead and finish it off with some more transfer stickers or transfer letters and there we have it guys. What do you guys think? Isn't this perfect for a tear tray? All right, on to our final DIY of the day. Since my Valentine's gnome was so popular, and I just wanna thank you guys so much for watching that video, I decided to go ahead and show you guys my take on this leprechaun gnome. So we're gonna start off with this plush. Again, from Dollar Tree, they had him during their Valentine's Day and we're gonna go ahead and cut him in half, poor little monkey. We're also gonna go ahead and remove the ears and the arms. And I do wanna warn you guys that this fur sheds quite a bit. Then we're gonna take an old sock and we're going to then stuff it with that stuffing that we got from the monkey and that's gonna be the body of our gnome. 
Then I went ahead and took some twine to tie off the top of the body. You guys can absolutely use whatever you have to help you secure that closed. We're gonna go ahead and take that piece of fur and we're gonna glue it down to our gnome. Oh, no, we're not. <laughs> We're gonna take this party hat that they had for New Year's at uh, Dollar Tree. And I, my Dollar Tree still were carrying them, so I thought this would be perfect for this project. And so we're gonna go ahead and glue on the hat first. And when you guys do decide to glue this on, I suggest using a low temp. I used high temp, so it was starting to melt my hat. Then I went ahead and took this bead. Um, I know Dollar Tree carries beads as well, but these ones I got from, I believe it was from Hobby Lobby and it was a pack of like 60 or 80 for about $4. And I, th I think I used my 40% off as well. So you're gonna glue down that bead. Then you're gonna take that fur and you're going to glue it down as close to the nose as possible. Now, I was originally gonna use this hat for my gnome, but I just figured it was way too big. That's why I decided to use that party hat instead, but I did take the buckle off of it. Then I'm going to take a long strip of the black felt and I'm just gonna glue it around the hat. And you're gonna go ahead and glue down the buckle. You guys can also make your own buckle out of like yellow felt. Then I'm gonna go ahead and make my shoes for my elf. Now I've done this before on my Valentine's Day uh, DIY. I will link that video down below showing you guys step by step and how I do it. Now that our shoes are all made, we're gonna take that black cauldron that they that they have this year um, at Dollar Tree in in the front of Dollar Tree where all their St. Patrick's Day supplies are, and we're gonna glue down our feet onto the bottom of that cauldron. Then lastly, we're gonna take this golden coin and on these cauldrons, they have these little holes. So to cover up the hole, all I did is glue down that gold coin. Finally, go ahead and stuff your gnome into the pot. And there you guys have it, your leprechaun gnome. What do you guys think? Which one was your favorite? Please let me know down below. I just want to thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.